Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. This is Alliance War number 20, and uh, we're getting into this. Uh, it looks to seem a pr to, like a pretty easy war from like when I scouted my path, there was a bunch of four stars on it. Um, I kind of thought that maybe the other team was stacking a battle group uh, defense, and uh, it's funny because uh, it's a strategy we've we've contemplated. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't tell if they were stacking defenses or not. I just maybe their their third battle group was kind of weak. Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't struggle too hard with their defense at all in battle group three here. So the first note I've got is an archangel. Uh, we definitely had some diversity coming along on this in this battle group. Um, a four star archangel on enhanced special one. I'm not too worried about that, but I am playing it safe anyway with that special one in the stun. And he goes down. Oh yeah, this war is actually versus ISO 8Z. Um, I wasn't sure if that was like a real part of it. In their description it says we are part of the ISO 8 family. Um, potentially this is like a Chinese uh, family or sister alliance to them. So uh, they're nowhere near the uh, sort of power level of like A and B and C, but uh, yeah, anyway, ISO 8Z, you can see that tag there. But anyway, I got Stun Immune, Enhanced Abilities, Hyperion. Ah, just poor placement, really. Um, we got poor placement on the part of the Archangel, I think poor placement on the part of this Hyperion. I mean, if you're going to place these defenders for diversity, at least put them on nodes where uh, they have a shot at getting a kill. I just don't think 4-star uh, Hyperion is going to do anything on this node. Um, I mean, I can't say much more for our defense. Our defense is pretty weak, I think, in our battle group, but we do, uh, we have some good bosses and mini bosses at least, and we definitely have a few good ambush nodes. So, node 24 is, uh, I think, I'm not even sure I check his profile for this one. Looks like I might be trying to tap on it, but I think it's a Medusa. Um, yeah, the guy's profile doesn't look anything stellar, so I'm, I'm guessing right here it's a Medusa. It's a four-star champion, and it is a Medusa. So I get into this fight thinking, okay, well, it's just a four-star, so let's let's attack into her block a little bit, bait that. Uh, I actually do end up going in for five at combo because I think potentially she won't heal it all back from Buffet just because she's a four-star. Uh, she does it, though. <laughs> she does heal it all back up. Uh, so I do need to bait, build some voice charges here. So I'm up to five now. Her furies are almost out. Um, I didn't end up punishing that. Uh, I should have. I was a little, little hesitant on on this uh, sort of. I was just being very, very cautious here. But anyway, her her furies are down at this point, and I think I'm gonna have to go through one more phase of of living strands and just take some block damage like normal on this node. Uh, definitely this was not as uh, fluid as the last time I fought Medusa on this node, which was a 455, and that was a hell of a fight. Uh, this one was definitely different. Uh, she she <laughs> limbered off that stun. I'm out of parries now. It's actually not looking too good. Stand your ground saves me, uh, but then I end up getting this nice crit there, and, and that takes her down. So all in all, not a very good fight. That was pretty sloppy on my part. Uh, wasn't proud of it, <laughs> but... It is what it is, I got through with the attack bonus. So now I'm coming up on a six star tech champion. I was thinking it was gonna be uh, Nebula. I don't know why. I should have known who it was gonna be. It actually ended up being Yondu. But yeah, it just didn't seem like a great node for Yondu, like, especially since Yondu, uh, you, you, you don't want him on power gain necessarily because then he's not gonna be able to, you're not gonna have to ever parry him or intercept him. So he's on this special one here. I do make a big mistake in this fight, though. Um, I don't know why I made the mistake, but I just did. So uh, I end up trying to build up some poise charges, bait the heavy out right there. That was nice. Um, I get him to another special one. Just got to bait this thing out. Let's see. He's being a little stingy with it. There he goes. And I, I'm able to get away from that one. He's going down pretty quick, as even as a six star. And I just got hit there. I... I wasn't quite sure what happened there. Um, I think I just dodged a little too late, and I ended up getting hit on the back. There is like a split second where Spider-Man's evading back that he is vulnerable, and I just got hit by it. I really hurt. Got the bleed, the heal block. It was just lethal. <laughs> so I'm down to 52% on Spider-Man, but I'm thinking, you know, I don't really need him for the rest of this, rest of this war. So. I brought Iceman for the poison node this time because I scouted it out and it looked like it was going to be a MODOK and in the past I've done fine with Iceman uh, against MODOKs so 
Yeah, I've been taking that. So on the power shield node, he's also very good for, for fighting morning stars here. So I've learned that with Morning Star, you just gotta play really slow. She's got the Mystic. This this one doesn't have crazy Mystic Dispersion, but all Morning Stars on this node have a power gain because it's the Power Shield node. And Iceman's uh, Cold Snap does even more damage. Uh, I think on because of Power Shield and with the with the Frost Bites, it all just works out pretty well. He's a he's decent. So I did get tagged there. I don't know what happened, but took the five percent, got my Ice Armor down. So I just gotta play it a little cool while uh, while I get that Ice Armor back up. Because I'm really, really looking not to die here. <laughs> so I'm playing it cautious, get another cold snap on her. It's just looking, it's looking all good for me. So I'm not even trying to detonate right now. I'm just trying to let those frost bites expire and uh, she'll go down. There she goes. So very, very clean. So far, aside from that little hiccup with Yondu, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this war so far. And we're up on the poison node. So thank God I got to bring Iceman. He's just so good. I wish mine was duped. I really do. You know, in a long time from now, if I start accumulating Awakening Gems, uh, I might awaken him with a generic, but we'll see. But uh, he, he, this is a MODOK for sure, and he has in the past for me handled MODOKs well. This one didn't go so smooth, you'll see. I get really bothered by that whole dexterity thing. Like, I, 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 and then I get a 5 hit combo. I forgot, you can't do 5 hit combos versus MODOK. You never know when that force field is going to pop up again. So, it's okay, I'm recovered, um, it's not the end of the world, even if he hits me with that heavy, I am incinerate immune. I didn't dodge the special one very well, and it's just going a little bit hectic. Luckily this isn't a 5 star, I probably would have died if this was a 5 star. So I detonate the one, the one frostbite I have on there, just why not? And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to throw a special 2. I don't want to get rid of my ice armor, so I gotta watch out for that brute force, too. That's that's something that's gotten me on this node a few times. The degen from the brute force is actually pretty strong, and it'll get you if you if you play too defensively. So that's why Modoc's pretty good on this node, but I think a 5-star just does so much better. So I'm playing a lot more carefully. I'm just doing the 4-hit combos, and then I decide to throw a special 3. Get some decent damage from that, too. And I'm pretty, like, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to kill him with this, so um, I'm still focused. Yeah, it looks like I didn't kill him, but he is cold snapped now, and he's going down really fast, and he ends up dying from recoil. So, yeah, guys, don't, uh, I mean, if you're going to, you really need uh, some sort of immunity, mystic dispersion, if you're going to run suicides as well, because uh, it's not going to help. It's not, it definitely, definitely hurts you, but... Yeah, just, uh, it definitely could have, they could have got, maybe, I think I ran into a few champions with suicides in this war. The other team probably could have done a little better uh, with their defensive placement. You know, if one person's running suicides, maybe just put them on the easy notes. This was, Path 6 is supposed to be, you know, one of the lane stoppers, or whatever. Yeah, it's supposed to stop. Anyway, so uh, we do, I do get second shot at the boss. Now, me and the other officer... Um, Peter, we're talking about this, and uh, he's got 565 Blade. I've got 565 Spider Man. We weren't we weren't entirely sure who would go in, and uh, we decided I would go in for this time. I think he'll probably go in next time. We'll see. But here's the thing. Oh man, I totally could have done this fight. I'll spoil it for you now. I didn't I didn't get through it, <laughs> but it was totally possible. I was just so nervous. I was in my own head. I think it's because we talked about it for like 10 minutes beforehand. And I just got so nervous. My hands were like, <laughs> they weren't like very steady and it just was not going well. So the basic idea is here though. So I had a new strategy in mind. I saw, I saw, actually saw Cameron, uh, uh, I forgot what his channel is called, but uh, do this with a Hyperion where he would intercept her heavy with his own heavy. It's much better with Hyperion, but it also seems to work pretty well with uh, Spider-Man too. So I did pop that invulnerable boost and it actually was necessary she's throwing five hit combos which is making me insane like i hate it when the ai throws five hit combos but i get this intercept in and uh i get some distance going and i'm attacking into her block like like an aggressive attacker should and I've, i'm up to 10 points charges so right now i'm just wasting time i try, trying to get through these furies i can i am not looking forward to the day that uh that synergies work in war <laughs> so this, this heavy strategy seems to be doing good. And you know Spider-Man's heavies can do a lot of damage when they crit. So I didn't uh, do it that time because I wanted to go in for some a five-hit combo. 
because uh, her furies were up. So I go in for one hit here. I'm below 50%. This is why I'm not critting so much anymore. And uh, I decide to go back up against the wall for this for this heavy strategy. Okay, so it's working. It's fine. It looks like I'm not... Okay, I'm able to do that. And so now I just need to hit her with a special two. Okay, it's looking all good. If I was above 50%, definitely would have killed her there. It's all looking pretty okay. So I get this heavy off. She's at 7%, 6%. And then she hits me with the heavy, she throws it too fast, and then I hit her twice and get parried. Oh my god. I was so close. Why didn't the assassins lower her chance to, <laughs> to proc it? I don't know. I just, uh, <sighs> that was really frustrating to see. But it definitely shows I can do this. I actually think Blade might be a little better than, than, than Spar uh, Sparky for this. So we're going to let um, Peter try next time with this 565 Blade. I think... Hopefully he's, I'm going to point him towards this video. I want him to see the, the heavy strategy because I really think it helps a lot. And uh, maybe he can try it next time. I think with the regening against the block, he's going to do a lot more, he's going to do a lot better with the chip damage and the invulnerability boost will be a lot more effective uh, because he'll be, you know, it'll only be in like emergency and, you know, he's not going to be getting low health all the time due to ch chip damage like Spider-Man was. Spider-Man was really suffering there. So... Anyway, we did beat ISO 8Z. Good war to you guys. Uh, that was it was an interesting strategy. I, I don't know if you guys were doing that on purpose or if they were. The, it, their first two battle groups it seemed like were way more powerful, but um, yeah, it's uh, our, our other teammates were really struggling with some of their defenders. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah, that was uh, that was a good war. We. We did beat them on the attacker bonus by a long shot. I think they had us in diversity, but it wasn't quite enough to make up the difference. So we took the win, and uh, we advanced. We're doing pretty good again. We're on a little bit of a win streak, and we just, we're just about to start a war right now, so hopefully we win. Wish us luck, and we'll see you in another video. Take care.